Today I'm going to show you guys how I did my DIY photo booth for my wedding. I'm going to show you guys all the different things that I use and we'll try to link as much of it down below. I did get married however in July so it's been a couple months. I don't know if all of these things are still um, available but I will try to link it down below for you guys or find something similar um, and yeah let's get started. So first things first the backdrop. This is the backdrop I actually use, this greenery backdrop that I'm now using in my kitchen. I use this backdrop because it kind of went with my theme. Of course, use anything you want. You can use glittery, shimmery, sequency, anything, anything you want. After I got my backdrop, I was like, what am I going to use to make this photo booth? I thought, well, you know what? I have an iPad. Now I have an iPad mini and it's a really old school one, but I was like a lot of people use their iPads to do these DIY photo booths, so I'll use mine. So I went ahead and grabbed my iPad, which I don't have with me now, but it is an iPad mini. Um, where is it? <laughs> so then I realized I would need a stand. I don't have a regular camera stand. Um, I just go ahead and use my ring light, even if I'm not actually using the light, I put my camera on it. So I was like, I'll just use the ring light. Plus I have a older version of the iPad, so I knew that the quality of the pictures weren't going to be as good if it didn't have really good lighting. So that was a plus for me. So I used my ring light and my ring light stand. And I needed a cover so that I was able, not an iPad cover, but an iPad case that was able to stand up my iPad. Um, the one that I picked up is this one right here. It looks like this. I have an iPad mini again, so that's why it's it's kind of small. Um, and this one is from, from iPow. You can see right here, iPow. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, really the name because I'm pretty sure I ordered it from Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys and that's it. It just looks like this and it's able to hold your iPad. It can also shrink smaller from this angle. If you twist it, you can make it smaller to fit a phone, any kind of phone. And yeah, it worked really great. If you have a larger iPad, of course, you're going to need a different um, case, but I'll try to find one for you guys and link it down below if I can. Now that I had my entire setup, I was looking through apps, seeing what was the best, the easiest, um, and the one that I came across was Simple Booth. Now that app has different versions. There's like actual event package ones where you can have everything set up already. I just went ahead and used the free version because your girl, you know, didn't have that dough for that. So I went ahead and used the free version, which worked perfectly fine. This app would probably the easiest I feel like that catered to your guests because they were able to just go on there and it literally hit like start and then it will just start snapping pictures um and so let's see how that app works right now come on so we're gonna go to the app right here it's sb and then it'll say tap to start and then here I am it'll start taking pictures we're just gonna have to fake this guys come on On the iPad it actually takes four, but on your phone it takes three. So it'll go like this and all you do is scroll and it'll give you different options um, like this. It only takes three on here. Um, on the iPad it'll have four and you can print them in um, in photo strips. So I went ahead and did that. You can also, if you want to, change the different filters. I like this one right here. And then um, next thing you know, all you have to do is go to next. And then what you'll click is this right here. And it'll say printer because it's air print. And that's my printer right there, the HP NV 4520. And all you do is you print it. Um, and you do one copy, two copies, whatever. And then it'll print like that. It'll show you it'll print in twos. So one of the key things I wanted my photo booth to have was definitely actual prints. Um, and so you're able to print in this 4x6 form right here. It's, you know, pretty big with the pictures. I feel like this was probably the size I should have printed in my pictures with my husband, but I didn't. I print them out in this little small photo booth style. 
Um, and so either one that you decide to print on, your guests can pick. So these are like the different sizes. And I really, I just think the pictures and the quality came out really, really good. To find a printer, I went inside of Best Buy and I asked them which printer was the most affordable and was really just made for photo prints because some printers are not. Um, and they recommended me the HP 4520, I believe. Um, the 4520 and I'll show you guys what that looks like right here it's been sitting in like the closet so it's kind of dusty because I haven't used it in a little minute so sorry but it looks like this it's super easy to work and it's just it was actually not that big I put it on a table I put extra paper I put pens and it was all out there and it printed out and it was it just worked perfectly fine so this printer I give it an A plus I got a really good deal on it and I was able to get the paper and everything at Best Buy and these prints right here, they come from the 4x6 paper. They literally come in two and then you go ahead and just cut them. They'll print one for you and if you're taking a picture with someone else, then you can give the other one to the other one. So that's why I really, really like these little photo booth prints. So that was basically it. That's all it took to make my DIY photo booth. I really think guests loved it. I love that I was able to use the Simple Booth app because it actually saves all... Um, why do I sound like an ad right now for Simple Booth? They are not paying me for this video, but they should... Um, I like the app because they saved all of the photos on my iPad, like my photo roll, so I was able to upload them all and send them to people if they didn't get a print or if, you know, I don't know, for any reason, if they just actually wanted like the digital copy, I sent it to them and that was really great. This photo booth was so affordable for me because I can use it for future parties. I think max, I want to say I spent because I used things I already had, but I probably spent a hundred dollars on it in general, and I feel like that's really good for something that I'll be able to use so many different times for so many different parties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, and I hope I was thorough enough for you guys. This is just how I did it, and I wanted to share just in case anybody else, you know, has similar things or can get similar things. I will link everything that I talked about down below if it's available. If not, I will give you a suggestion. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time.